Hey everyone, I'm Kel, and today I want to talk a little bit about Magic the Gathering and the state of the Red Zone MTG YouTube channel. Basically, I have not uploaded to that channel for about four months or so, and in the meantime, I have been uploading mostly to my main channel, Red Zone Rogue, where I cover a plethora of trading card games, specifically Force of Will and Flesh and Blood. Because of that, I really haven't had a lot of time to focus on Magic the Gathering, and I kind of felt that it really wasn't needed. There's so many other Magic the Gathering channels out there that are very popular. However, I've decided that, you know what? I just want to make some Magic the Gathering content, even if it's just for fun and not a whole lot of people watch it. With that said, I'll probably only be making a couple Magic videos every month or even every week or so, something like that. Not a whole lot of videos, honestly. And I don't think it would be fair to folks subscribe to Red Zone MTG to only get a video, you know, once every month or once every couple weeks even. And if that was the upload rate, I don't think a lot of people would watch them to begin with, so it'd be kind of a waste of time. And what that basically means is I'm not going to be uploading Magic the Gathering videos to Red Zone MTG anymore. I'm basically just going to be uploading them to my main channel, Red Zone Rogue. If you're not subscribed to that channel already, then I would highly recommend checking it out. If you like my content, the same kind of content is on there, just with different card games, but now I'll be putting my Magic the Gathering content on there. If you're already subscribed to Red Zone MTG and you're watching this from that channel, yo, thank you. <laughs> just know all of the other content isn't going anywhere. I'm just going to be supplementing it with additional Magic the Gathering content. And what kind of content am I talking about? Well, let's get into it. I'm going to show you all of the plans for my Magic content in 2020. First of all, we have booster box openings. I'm going to be doing booster box openings of every set this year, starting off with Ikoria. I think that set is actually really, really sweet. It, it really speaks to me on a personal level as someone who grew up with Toho monster movies and Godzilla and stuff. I think it's rad as hell. I'm probably going to be doing a collector booster opening. That's why I have these here. But I'm also going to be doing my very first Magic the Gathering deck in a box video. And that's a video where I open up an entire box of booster packs and I try to build a deck with just the cards inside. Think of it kind of like a box sealed or something like that. I will not be doing that with a collector booster. I will be doing that with a regular draft booster. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially for Ikoria. I'm also going to be doing other content like commander deck techs and openings and stuff. This is just a leftover one that I had from last year. I bought an X room because this one has some really sweet cards in it. Hello, Kirik. And this one I'm just keeping on my shelf to either sell or give to someone if they ever decide to want to play a commander with me. And I'll also be doing other stuff like Commander deck techs. Here we have this uh, Selvala deck that I've been building. Um, it's kind of a pseudo competitive Selvala, but not like crazy competitive. I mean, I'm like, I'm running weird stuff in here, but I'm also running like Dark Depths. Gotta love me some Dark Depths. Love any deck that I can play Dark Depths in. Uh, what else do we have here? I have another Mono Green Commander deck. Let's open this up real quick. This one is Renata, Call to the Hunt. This one actually is um, pretty interesting. Um, just by virtue of using like a not super powerful, uh, you know, commander, I think this deck is actually a lot of fun. And I think, well, I mean, I'm running, you know, other expensive and powerful stuff in here. But I think this deck's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I might do a deck tech video for this one. It's like all about like plus one, plus one counters. I've also got this deck. This is basically my favorite deck that I have now. Um, out of all my, like, four main pet decks that are, like, pretty tricked out, Yogmoth Thran Physician is my favorite. My uh, old Liliana Heretical Healer deck has morphed into Yogmoth Thran Physician, if I can get the focus right. This deck is super sweet. It uses a lot of, like, minus one, minus one counter synergy. Well, let's see if I can find some of the, the cool stuff in here. I'm just going to keep flipping and talking until I get some of the cool stuff. This deck is significantly upgraded. If you've watched the Liliana Heretical Healer deck, I've changed a lot of stuff, added, you know, really powerful things like Mana Crypt, but because it's just, a, or like this uh, fancy Bitter Blossom, I'm going to talk about this fancy Bitter Blossom in just a second too, because I want I do want to talk about Secret Lair and all that kind of stuff. Dude, where are my Scarab Nest, <laughs> uh, Bowfly Infestation, or Blowfly Infestation? There we go, we got like this Crumbling Ashes and my freak oh there we go nest of scarabs i love this card in this deck it is super super sweet and also necro skitter really cool cards i, I really like this yogmoth deck it's, it's a lot of fun to play and mono black is you know one of my favorite archetypes if i can stay yogmoth cannot stay in focus and i think the deck tech video that i want to make the most is this rakdos the showstopper coin flip demon deck this deck is super sweet has a lot of like alternate win conditions as we pass a couple of them here and big old demons and just crazy coin flip stuff and yeah this deck is a lot of fun very like rakdos themed and um 
yeah, I think it, I think it'd make a really cool video. I also want to talk about some stuff like Secret Layer here. I think Secret Layer is a very interesting series that they've done. I bought into the first one. I have not bought any since. These ones are the Kaleidoscope's Kaleidoscope Killers. I can say it right. And Bitter Blossom Dreams. I did buy two other ones in addition to these. I made a video about it, but I never you know uploaded it or edited it. Let me know if you'd like to see that. I could just upload it. You know, in a couple days if you'd like to see it. It's not too super long. I do open these up and I kind of show off, you know, what uh, the special planeswalkers I get. I got a really sweet one in the Kaleidoscope Killers. But, um, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see some stuff on Secret Lair. If I buy another one, I'll probably do a quick video on it. But it's not that big of a deal. And then I was also thinking about doing videos on other weird stuff like Unsanctioned. Here is my, like, Unsanctioned box set. As you can see, I've got some loose booster packs for ye old booster tutor here. I've got some powerful packs. I've got some incredibly powerful packs and uh, you know some ones that were you know sweet not as sweet. Um, got some janky ones. A lot of my favorite sets here I really like the the bad master sets like Iconic Masters and Masters 25 and then of course you gotta have Prophecy. And then the rest of this is like a bunch of dice in here and then we have the actual decks all sleeved up and ready to battle. This is kind of like my unglued Un battle box, which I think is actually a lot of fun. This is a really cool board game. Even if someone uh, I know like doesn't play Magic, I can be like, "Hey, you want to play some unsanctioned? It's really fun, and uh, I might lose because it's really random and there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on." I also want to maybe do another art book review, like I did before, and a lot of other stuff like that. But like I said, these aren't going to be every single week. These are going to be more like every couple weeks or something like that, interspersed with my other card game content. Because, you know, I love card games. It's all about the card games, and I think Magic is a fantastic card game. It's one that I've always played, you know, ever since I was like eight. I've been playing this since like 1995. So yeah, Magic the Gathering content on Red Zone Rogue. Check that channel out, subscribe if you want. If not, then, you know, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate. But if you do, then I will see you for some more card game content. Thanks again, everyone. Thanks for this update. It might be a little bit longer than I thought. It's probably going to end up being like five to ten minutes, but that's all right. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. See you later, everyone.